Hi, my name is Gareth Spence. I'm currently in Brocade's headquarters in San Jose. I'm here to talk about Gen 6 Fiber Channel and its impact upon the industry. To help me do this, I'm joined by Advert Optical Networking's Uli Schlegel and Brocade's Trolls McLebust. Gentlemen, thank you for, for joining me today. Mm -hmm. Trolls, let's start at the top. You introduced Gen 6 back in 2016, I think it was July 2016. It's been a few months since then. Yeah. How has the industry responded? Yeah, the reception that we've seen for Gen 6 Fiber Channel has been uh, has been very, very strong, both within the industry as well as in the customer segment, um, really fed by the demands that we're seeing for modern data centers for all flash arrays and to leverage the performance that those can offer. Um, and uh, Gen 6, the update that we've seen over the course of the basically the full, first full year that we've had the product on the market now, um, has been very, very strong. Whenever you introduce a new version of, of uh, Fiber Channel, there's always a lot of uh, interest in the media, a lot of rivalry between Ethernet and InfiniBand. Mm -hmm. Could you both talk a little bit about that rivalry and, and what you see there? Oli, let's start with you. Okay, I mean, our customers doing our Fiber Channel network or doing long distance Fiber Channel networks, they're mainly in the financial industry. And they use Fiber Channel for a very long time, and there's a reason behind it, because it's just the best protocol to do the job. And I do not see that they're stepping anywhere away from that. Charles? Yeah, I, that Fiber Channel is a proven technology for our customers. Um, they've been able to scale and, uh, and keep growing with Fiber Channel for, for years, and then it's the technology they, they know they can rely on. Um, there have been over the years several other technologies that have sort of come along the, uh, you know, uh, along alongside, where they've sort of offered. Oh, here's kind of an alternative, but I think for the customers, it really comes down to kind of very, very simple things. Um, you know, biggest question for a data center customer is going to be, you know, reliability of that infrastructure, and Fiber Channel is proven. Uh, customers know they can rely on it. And then they look at, can they scale their environment and can they keep up with the performance of modern workloads? And of course, with every successive generation of Fiber Channel, you've gotten the performance to keep up with the demands that are, that are there. So it's why customers keep sticking with what they know works. You mentioned reliability there and scale. What about latency as well? Does that come into play? Yeah, so latency is particularly important now that we're talking about all flash arrays. Traditionally, spinning media, the response time you would see going through the array itself would take a long time compared to the latency you would see within the fabric, you know, at the network layer. Um, but with all flash arrays, the response time is so much quicker, so then that puts a premium on the latency you have at the switching layer. And that's where Fiber Tunnel really shines, and that's why you're seeing the vast majority of all flash array deployments are on Fiber Tunnel. And Oli, what are you hearing in regards to Gen 6 and latency? I mean, latency is, from a fiber channel perspective, was always much more better than, than our Ethernet protocols, what we have seen on the market, even with if you have this uh, kind of cut-through cut through switches. Whereas on the other hand, we also have to bring our piece of hardware into that game to have an overall end-to-end -end latency, which is the best for the customer, which drives his bandwidth or establish the maximum on his bandwidth demands. Oli, I also understand that another hot topic here is uh, fiber channel over distance. Can you both talk a little bit about this? Charles, perhaps if we start with you on this one. Yeah, so what's happening here is that um, you know, customers have to ensure availability. You know, we collectively expect you know, any application to be up and running 24 by 7, from, you know, accessible from anywhere in the world. And so IT organizations are faced with ever-increasing expectations from, from all of us in terms of availability of our applications. Well, that means that the demand for protecting that data and ensuring that they have uh, good failover schemes for that data becomes higher and higher and higher. And that's driving the demand for connectivity over distance, both sort of medium distances and also very long distances to ensure that they have availability of data continuously. And Oli, what are you hearing here? From our side, I mean, we are usually in the area about maximum 100 miles, 150 kilometers, whereas what we see that our customers tend to go longer and longer distances with their fiber channel networks, yeah. and this is because the disaster area, they, they just seem to go to grow wider. So they want to go longer distances in order to have maximum security for the data centers and for the backup structure. Right. The, the distance has to be long enough to protect the, yourself against practical disaster scenarios that can occur. So whether you're talking about a, a flood or an earthquake or, or a forest fire or whatever could, could happen, 
the distance needs to be sufficient that you're protect protecting yourself from the, the likely scenarios that could happen. Okay, and let's wrap the discussion by talking about what comes next. What does the future hold for Gen 6? Yeah, so there's so much innovation happening on the fiber channel side. Um, we have invested heavily in uh, um, technologies to make it much easier to uh, you know, manage and maintain and, and, and keep high availability and high performance in the networks with our Fabric Vision initiative. Um, but there are so many new technologies that are happening, and perhaps one of the most exciting ones is the advent of MVME as a as a technology on the on the fiber channel side, MVME over fabrics, and in this case over fiber channel. And we're starting to see that emerge as a as a very key technology over the course of the next couple of years. Um, NVMe kind of replaces the SCSI protocol, so it's NVMe over fiber channel, still the same fiber channel switching layer. Um, but NVMe offers that uh, much lower level of latency to again make um, you know, allow customers to really take advantage of the performance that flash arrays can offer. Fantastic, gentlemen! Thank you for the update today. Appreciate it.